This is the Samsung Galaxy M55 5G disassembly. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Also, if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, we'll remove the SIM tray. Here's a look at the SIM and micro SD tray. There's also a red rubber gasket around it. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. I prefer to use a hairdryer since there's less of a chance of damaging any of the components inside by overheating them. Here's a better look at the plastic backplate. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. There are 20 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now a plastic pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing is also made of plastic. The NFC antenna is located here, as well as two other antenna flex cables. On the other side, there are additional antenna flex cables around the border. There's also graphite foam to help transfer heat. The battery cable can be disconnected from the main board, followed by the rest of the cables. This flex cable connects the main board to the subboard, and this one is an extension cable which connects the screen cable to the main board. So if you needed to replace the screen, you'd remove the back plate, the screws on the back housing, at which point you can disconnect the battery cable, as well as the extension cable from the screen cable. You then pry off the screen cable from the subboard, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the midframe, and reassemble the phone. The coaxial cable can be disconnected by just popping it off. Taking a look at the main board, we can see the 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, the 50 megapixel primary, and the 2 megapixel macro lens. The main camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone on the top corner, and the LED flash is located here. Looking at the other side, we can see the 50 megapixel front facing camera, the proximity sensor located next to that, the SIM and memory card reader, as well as graphite film on the back shield to help transfer heat. Once the removable shield cover has been removed, we can see thermal paste which is on the processor as well as the two chips. Moving to the battery, to remove that there's a pull pouch provided to help you pry it off. This is the 5000 mAh battery. 
Once the adhesive pouch for the battery has been peeled back, we have a better look at the copper vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery as well as the motherboard. Here's a look at the speaker assembly. Looking at the subboard, we see a rubber gasket around the charger port and the primary microphone is located here. Here's a look at the other side. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner, which is held down with some adhesive. To replace that, just apply some heat and pry it off. And the same goes for the fingerprint sensor located here. There's also a liquid damage indicator sticker located below the fingerprint sensor and one underneath the SIM reader on the frame. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located on this side. To replace that, just peel it off. And the earpiece speaker is located on top, which is held down with some adhesive. To replace that, just apply some heat and pry it off. There's also a thermal pad on the frame to help transfer heat away from the components on the motherboard. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put it back together. Once everything is back in place, apply a new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.